A central responsibility of any government is to do what's necessary for economic stability. And please note that I said that without laughing. So what I'm saying to you today as the new Prime Chancellor is that you should just forget about everything the government of which I am still a part said or did. If it helps, just pretend it was all a terrible dream brought on by imported cheese. No government can control the markets. I did have to explain this to somebody earlier on. She said, well, why don't we just close the markets? Everybody does all of their shopping online anyway these days. I had to explain it wasn't that sort of market. She just said, uh, uh, and then walked into a corner and just stood there for a bit. <clears throat> we can, however, give some certainty to the markets. And if this statement means anything, it certainly means Liz won't be in charge for much longer. <clears throat> Both I and the Prime Minister are really keen to cut taxes in the same way that we're really keen to see all of your holiday photos and definitely will say hi from you when we see our friend later. So I have decided to reverse almost all of the tax cuts that were announced in the mini budget, making it a micro budget or a nano budget in that I said, nah, no, to almost all of it. The only measures I will not reverse are those already going through Parliament because they've been printed now and to be honest we've run out of toner and can't afford to replace it. It is a deeply held conservative value and one that I share that people should keep more of the money that they earn so not cutting tax really hurts but it's also a deeply held conservative value to cut spending on public services so at least that makes me feel a bit better. There will, I'm afraid, be more difficult decisions on spending, but this is not austerity. It's um, uh, sobriety. Well, well, that works actually, because you won't be able to afford alcohol and all of the pubs will have to close. You may remember that just last week, the former and yet still current prime minister said that the energy price plan would last for two years and attack Labour for their six-month plan. If you do still remember that, then please try really hard to forget it. Our energy plan will now also last six months, but in a good way, and after that we'll come up with a different, cheaper plan that is really focused on the vulnerable, if there are any of them left. I remain extremely confident in the UK's long-term economic prospects, because let's be honest, we won't be in power soon. The United Kingdom will always pay its way, just like the Lannisters always pay their debts. And if you understand that reference, you still have room to make efficiency savings in your television spending.